Hello everybody and welcome to this video. Today I'm going to be tearing down a VHS tape or VHS video cassette as it's officially called or like whatever you want to call it. Now if you saw my tear down of a VHS player you will have seen uh, me effectively tearing down a player that you put this in and it then reads the data off the tape in there. Like quite literally a tape. But we'll get into that uh, further in the teardown. So yeah, I've done a teardown on the VHS player, so why not do a teardown on the VHS tape? It's an extremely simple principle, but I can still tear it down. Now, when you bought uh, VHSs, like with DVDs, they come in a plastic casing, obviously. Uh, VHS movies also came in a plastic casing, but if you were to just buy a tape to record like TV programs onto it would most likely come in one of these plus uh, sorry in one of these cardboard like almost cover like things uh, yeah and it also says three hours that's because tapes use an analog system whereas if the uh, tape inside it can only record three hours you can only record three hours onto it you won't be able to compress it and then record like four hours or something you will only be able to record three hours. Uh, also, yes, it does say Ricky Martin on it. He's a singer, as far as I'm aware. Anyway, let's uh, get on with tearing it down. So it's a really simple principle. There's a tape bit that's exposed there, and the tape is simply on two reels, which we can see here. But anyway, let's get on with tearing it down. Now, I'm going to move over to the side over here. There we go, that's somewhat leveled it. Anyway. Let's get onto the teardown of the VHS player. So there's five screws in it. There's one there, one there, one there, one there, and one there. Uh, that's just a, oh. I was gonna say that's just a hole and then I poked it and it moved. Not entirely sure what that is, but I guess we'll discover, uh, I guess we'll discover it when, when we tear it down. And also something rather interesting with VHS is, is, do you see that bit of plastic there? Do you see how the edge of that bit of plastic is flush with the rest of the casing? Uh, when that's flush with the rest of the casing like it is, it means you can record, you can record stuff on this tape. Uh, but when that bit of plastic is pushed in, like usually you'd uh, break it off and like properly push it in. But uh, basically when, when there's like an indentation, where that bit of black plastic is sort of like you can see now there's a slight indentation uh, that means you cannot record onto a VHS tape because well I'm not 100% sure but I I know that like if that's pushed in you can't record and if it's flush then you can record it it might block like the header from recording or something I'm not sure but I guess we'll find out anyway enough speaking about it I've been recording for five minutes now so let's just tear it down. These screws are not in very tightly. Oh, they're quite long screws. Uh, but yeah, a nice small video, small simple teardown. Uh, I don't intend on putting this VHS back together. Uh, for some reason the screw down here won't come out. Right, so now if we lift it up very delicately, then we can see, uh, well, this bit here. I, you know what, I don't know, but all I know is somehow that little square means you can or cannot record. So these are the reels that the tape is on. My phone just went off, that wasn't very professional, was it? Let me turn it off. And uh, yeah, it's really simple, really. You've just got some reels that the tape is on, quite literally. That's why they used to call them tapes, like a VHS tape, because there are because, well, there's just two reels that the tape is on. So yeah, this, this is literally all that makes up a VHS tape. It is a plastic casing with two reels with some tape on it. So it's a very simple principle. Uh, but yeah, anyway, that's it. That is what is inside a VHS tape. And now what you're probably wanting me to do is completely unravel all of this tape and see how long it is, don't you? Well, I, I don't have a tape measure that long. I can research how long three hours of VHS tape is. 
if that would satisfy you, but uh, as far as I'm aware, I do not have a tape measure that's that long. In fact, no, I know for a fact I don't have a tape measure that's that long. I wouldn't be surprised if there's like, I don't know, maybe a kilometre of tape there. Maybe. I'm not sure, but uh, there could be. So that is literally what's inside VHS tape. Uh, yes, there are little things like this, and if I'm honest, I'm not too sure what these little mechanisms did. Uh, but yeah. That's literally what's in a VHS tape, is some reels with some tape on them, surprisingly. So I guess, no, I, I won't leave this video here, I will go and research how long the uh, three hours of tape is. Okay, I can't find anything regarding three hours exactly, but according to what I have just found, on a three hours, twelve minute long amount of tape, which we may as well just call this three hours, twelve minutes, uh, there is 1800 feet, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and convert that into meters and then maybe into miles and stuff like that, so yeah, let me do that. So, 1800 feet in meters is 548 meters and 64 centimeters, which is just over half a kilometer, and in miles it is, I don't know because I haven't converted it yet. And in miles, uh, the length of that tape is 0 0.340091, or just 0 0.34 miles. So, uh, yeah, that's, that's it for this video. There is literally nothing else to report on, because it's extremely basic. Uh, but anyway, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Okay, so the video that you just watched, the VHS teardown, if I'm honest, I'm not completely happy with the uh, footage I got and basically how I created the video, but there's nothing I can do about it because I'm not putting it together to uh, tear it down again, so I'll just have to deal with it in the editing software and try and deal with it in order to, like, get it how I want it to be. But, uh, yes, if I'm honest, the footage recorded, it's been recorded, but I'm not 100% happy with it, but I've gone beyond the point of no return now, so I either need to scrap this video entirely, which I have no intentions of doing, or I just need to try and tweak it and deal with it in the editing software in order to get it how I like it. But anyway, that's it for this video, so thank you for watching, and I shall see you in the next video.